to make a spatchcock chicken, you start off with a whole chicken like this. Um, and I'm going to cut down the back. So you've got your whole chicken like this. And this is, as you can see, sitting wing side down. I'm going to basically just cut down the backbone just like this, except I'm just going to turn it back towards me because it's a bit easier to do if it's back towards me. So I'm cutting down really hard all the way down the backbone. Now, if you have strong scissors like poultry shears, you can use those, but they're not essential to have. Actually, I'm going to use. And you're cutting all the way down the back, but you don't want to cut all the way through to the breastbone. So cutting with quite a lot of force. Can you see that? It's starting to open out, opening it out like that. And so you're basically opening it all the way out like this. Excuse me. Can you see like that? And you want to open it out. So I'm just going to put it skin side up so I can kind of give it a bit of a, if it needs a bit of a crack. And then the wings you can leave like this or you could curl them underneath. But you might find just here, up at the wing end, you've got some extra skin, so you can cut off some of that. Thanks a million, Tiff. There. Or you can just cut them off if you wish, at the tips, at the first joint. Like that. Then what you want to do is you want to actually score through the legs about twice maybe through the drumstick part and then about twice through the thigh part because the leg takes longer to cook than the breast so you can give it a couple of little cuts like that like that and then it just means that the flavor will just soak into the legs they'll cook a bit faster transfer the chicken to the roasting tray 